So in last week's video, I showed you how to set up Cloudflare and integrate it with your WordPress website such that it increases your page load speed, which ultimately keeps people, keeps more people on your website. And it also keeps your website secure, which we'll see here in a minute a couple of the, a uh, couple of attacks that were already blocked by Cloudflare just since we've set it up. Uh, but in today's video, I want to show you how to get a, a little bit more advanced by integrating Cloudflare with Lightspeed Cache. So if you're using Lightspeed Cache and it's caching the pages of your site to speed up its load speed even further than what would happen with just Cloudflare, there's especially one thing that is really annoying, which is that you can't clear the cache in Cloudflare uh, through Lightspeed. So if you're working on your website and you change like the main menu and you clear the cache, it might not show up as changed. So then you're like, well, did that change work? What's going on? Uh, and that's because Cloudflare has a cached version of that page that it's serving up. So by integrating the two together, we'll see that there's going to be a purge Cloudflare cache option that shows up here. There are some other added benefits, but uh, that's one of the, the main things that it just simplifies the process. You don't have to go clear the cache in Cloudflare, clear the cache at Lightspeed, and keep going back and forth. So if you're in Lightspeed and you're in the CDN section, uh, you can just scroll down to the very bottom, and there's this Cloudflare API section here. And in order to integrate, all you do is enter your email address, and then you'll need to get your global API key, which we have here. And then you want to enter your domain name in as well. To get your global API key, you can just click this link, and that will actually take you to the page where you can grab that key. And then click Save Changes. And then we're going to need to actually activate it. So... If you go, come here and turn it on, which you can do those all in one step, uh, or you can do them separately. It doesn't really matter either way. But now we should see there's a purge all Cloudflare option here. So when we click that, you can see it says communicated with Cloudflare successfully, notified Cloudflare to purge all successfully. So now Cloudflare and Lightspeed are communicating with each other, which... It gives you a number of different added benefits, but that's the main one I wanted to cover today because it's just, it's one of the most annoying things when you have a CDN set up and it's caching and then you also have caching on your website and you're changing things and it's like, where where is it, what is happening? So, uh, so basically all you have to do is once you have Cloudflare set up, just enter your Cloudflare email global API key and then the domain of the website that you're working on within you know this, this uh, the light speed cache that you're working on the site on uh, just enter that domain because this is global so you could have multiple websites within your Cloudflare account so you'll need to enter this domain or else it's going to communicate with other well it's not going to know what domain to communicate with and then once you do that you make sure to turn it on click save and then you'll see this option show up where you can clear your Cloudflare cache and get other benefits uh, with having those two platforms communicating with each other. So at the beginning of the video, I was talking about how a few things have already been happening within Cloudflare. So let's take a look at those real quick before we tie this all together. Uh, so if we come over to, to Cloudflare on this website and click Analytics, we can see how many requests have been served just within the last 24 hours. So this is 24 hours, 1,154 requests, 176 cash requests, and 978 non-cash requests. And then we can also see predominantly where they're coming from. So these people from China, India, Brazil, Peru, Australia, Russia, they're probably trying to get into the website since this is a US based website so it's it's blocking a lot of uh, or, or uh, mediating a lot of these visits from other countries and we can see it's already blocked three attacks 
So three, three attacks were attempted, and Cloudflare went ahead and just gave him the boot and said, "No, get out of here." <laughs> so, and you know, this is barely this has only been on the site for a, a brief period of time, so we can see it's already served 59 megabytes, 300 or 3,191 SSL requests served. So we can see Cloudflare's already doing its thing. It's working. It's blocking attacks and uh, really just helping to speed up the site and keep it secure. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you have questions about, just drop them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them there. And until next time, take care.